And now, here. Night throw. Marcus could be caught out. Wardell playing a little bit more aggressively, but using the range to his advantage. Asuna eventually will be able to trade him out. We'll just check a few extra angles. The fact is, though, it's actually short control that's being fought for for the moment from TSM. Asuna needs to be careful that he doesn't get peaked from drone over on A short. He could be played off. There's so much utility there. There's a really deep cipher camera from the side of Haste. They're going to be sitting far away. They don't want to take these engagements, but they know that the execute's coming Gage through with that shock bad. dart. All of this utility is from 100 is thieves onto nobody at this point. Haste is happy to sort of wait, and it's going to get that fragment to a sooner, who has left. a bit of a pain in the backside so far for TSM. Spike is going to get planted, but it's a two versus three, and both players from 100 Thieves kind of stuck on the site. Dicey needs to hit some pretty tasty martial shots, and unfortunately for him, there's nothing he can do. He can go. He's so blind, but still manages to take down a third. Now, in isolation, it's an okay round. Now, we know that this isn't the normal case for 100 Thieves, where we're talking about this being a few. Could be a. Aren't you going to see oh, are you best of these bypassed his opponent, though? Still, remember, they're saving Gage almost money for a buy in the next round. So any extra damage that's done here by 100 Thieves would be considered a success. And right now, we're not in a bad position whatsoever. However, Wardell in a good spot, but he's only going to get one. The plant on A looks almost inevitable. And actually, Dicey has managed to retrieve a Bulldog. This is starting to become... Possible on the side of a hundred thieves, and they are making these rounds tougher and tougher as they go by. Now both players have come from the heavens, the same angle. Dicey, ready and waiting to try and watch onto the cross, try and stop players from getting towards this team. Fantastically, well it won't matter. Pushing all the way through, using the paranoia to gain himself an extra little bit of ground, and the time is starting to tick. This is becoming a little bit of a problem scenario now for 100 thieves but they find two three kills still with a third 10 Metro seconds left, the last left. left all onto Zabrosa, and there's nothing he can is a rolling thunder available now if drone wants to use it he is going to be beating him up and he closes the door and it's just gives it up so much for steel to just peek around the corner and be able to free fire in the right position while they'll trying to use his smoke to scut across the top of rafters a little bit but steel yet again gets a second so Spike is going to get planted. Nitro's lurking. He will do this a lot on the 30 attack. 30 seconds left. And that's probably Spike one of the reasons why TSM are good. It leaves now with a slightly problematic situation for the remaining seconds members left. of these. They were hoping to try and force these players out. Instead, they are going to have to battle for this site as soon as he's trying to spray. He's trying to find. There is a man in that smoke, but unfortunately he's not found him. And he's just lurking around the boxes. It's a fantastic crop out there from TSM. Right. We'll get one with the operator, but the time now ticking and night Ten seconds left. on the anyway. other side. It will be any lockdowns as he possibly can on this attack. Wardell is going to meet them. That's a really good paranoia, though. He isn't going to catch anybody. And Hunter's fear is going to be used. He misses the shots, but manages to flick okay. around with a classic. Wardell style points there to get the kill onto Steel. And it's a bit of an impact for 100 feet whose money didn't look good already, but being a person down, here's some looking on, uh, on top right now. Yeah, you know, hitting the, the easy operator shot, that, that's not his style. It, it's the fadeaway classic kill. That, that's a little bit more Wardell. And now, while Nitro trying to get his way through, is actually going to be caught. And the Rolling Thunder is killed off Asuna as well. A break from the scoreboard is all it really was, as now things look straight back into the favor of TSM. And the remaining two players, in the form of Dice, an awful lot to do. Another one for Wardell. This time... You know, with the operator, back to the standard. And Dicey, the problem is he's got 45 seconds. Realistically, I'm sure he'd love to keep this operator into the next round. Maybe take a few players with him. But at this point, it's so long to save. I don't think the defenders are going to let him. And he's coming under pressure with so left. much different utility. They are fully on the hunt. And a missed shot just can't be allowed at this point. They're using so much utility to get him. They can't get the frag. Considering their bank was getting a little bit low, they're now in a pretty good spot again. 
They're pincering TSM right now. Drone is probably away from it, so it's just going to try and meet it. Can get one. Almost gets a sooner, but manages to get the headshot just in time. Haste is now going to be watching towards Cubby as the rain is still in mid. Had to back off. The door's going to be closed in the face of Haste, and the sooner's not going to be able to lurk anymore. Spike is going to get planted, but it's a three versus four. Don't think there's going to be an ultimate available. Steel's just trying to see if he can bait out any more utility. But look at this, actually. The jet is pushing on the head. Wardell misses the shot. Run. Stacey creating a lot of space, and the lockdowns even going to be used to try and keep this site protected. Do we see TSM try and push in now to try and get rid of it at this point? They're actually going to try and do it. Cutler's able to get one, but traded out by Hiko, who is on A main. He's going to get flanked, actually, by Sabrosa with the perfect paranoia. Two versus one. The lockdown isn't going to find too much. It's just Steel in a one versus two, surrounded at this point by the defenders. Can't even get his hands on Hazed. Defuse is a straightforward one. And interest at this point, there's no way to rotate, but Steel is baiting and lurking as always. This is getting ridiculously Get long. Trying oh, to pull rotations. Push comes in. Ten but seconds it's just left. the bait and switch. They needed the kill to come in, but however, Cutler at the back of the site could be a huge problem, and the time has now ticked too far. There is nothing that the side of 100 Thieves could do to be hit, at least without a lot of those made. Look how close Drone is willing to hold here. Steel, though, still wins that engagement. He's going to back off as much as he possibly can, just needs to fight. Brings out the ultimate. Nitro's made his way into sight with the help of his team, but... Cutler's recon bolt. Is it going to find too much because the paranoia is really good? So he's going to hit across sight, narrowly misses players on sight. And it's actually Hiko with the aggressive ultimate that gets the frag. Luckily, Wardell can do a lot more with the blade storm, but Hiko from A main. Cover going out. Nobody's going to be haunting him yet, but Sabrosa is still wanting to make sure that they can take him out of this left. engagement. Certainly with the fact that Dicey has the spike, hasn't planted it yet because he doesn't know where these defenders are. Shadows traveling. Again, the time ticking all the way down, but they're already on the site. They're just trying to find some extra information. Revealing area. 10 seconds left. We'll be able to do just that, but they have to go for the part now. They're leaving things very, very late. They need somebody to go on multiple different man. angles, and they're just not going to be able to do it. Already one picked off. It's left on to Dicey. There's nothing he can do. And again, it's another round in a row now. An operator saved, and TSM, they're grinding them out on the defensive, trying his best to work with the killjoy, which is... Not necessarily the easiest job in the world, and I know that players like Angel, for example, have said that the use of a uh, Killjoy I like the use of the smoke, though. They covered off the Killjoy bot. Because of that, they don't actually know that somebody pushed through the other side. That is brilliant from TSM. That's given Hazed two free kills off of a simplistic smoke, just to deny that knowledge. At the same time, the trades come back, but Subrosa is there once again. It's left onto Nitro. One versus three. Oh, he's been spotted as well. Just he makes his way around the corner. It's gonna be Odin spam. Still manages to get a kill onto Wardell. Though. This is now the realms of possibility. A little bit of extra cover. He's got his paranoia as well. With both players around that corner, they're gonna start spamming left. just to try and kill him off before he makes his way to the spot. They don't know how far he's gone. It's another one coming up for Nitro, and somehow he's still standing. Into a one versus one, omen on omen. Subrosa facing off against Nitro. But to beat them is Subrosa. He's got the better gun. He's got a phantom. But if he gets caught out here, that's a big gun that they can get. But luckily, the rest of the TSM is covering him. Three easy frags to try and clear up the middle of this site. You would expect the TSM would make this 10 4. Yeah, that'd have to be something pretty ridiculous. And. Our drone is going to find out where the last player is as well. That was the one sneaky remainder. Not too much about. That was Nitro, of course, and not quite to be. Hiko, he's pulled off many a clutch in his time. This would probably be the best of them, if I'm being honest, and that's throughout a, an insane Counter Strike career. Mainly because this looks impossible. They're trying to hunt him down. They don't want to allow Hiko to even hold on to his classic. This is completely unnecessary for TSM. Face the Eldron is going to let him know at least more is there. And as soon as actually just going to try and meet them, he can at least get one. But it's trade outs. TSM 
managing to find ways to even punish aggressive players coming out of 100 thieves on this defense. They haven't gone on for the execute yet. They just want to be really careful. And this has been a sign of an improved TSM. They're really making sure that they check all of these corners, that they don't get caught out by some Nitro Steel mind games at this point. And it's a great way for these more established Counter-Strike, ex-Counter-Strike players to try and clutch up here in this 3v3. I can't say I'm surprised TSM coming into this tournament looking strong. After, as said, what was a disappointing tournament at Pot Flash. I'm, I'm sure over the last couple of months they've been stewing, waiting for this first strike event to start. It's evident the hours have been put in. Changes, area. massive changes have been made there to their comp are. and what agents are being played. 30 now seconds it looks left. impressive. Bear in mind, this is their opponent's map choice. Sure, it's one that they're very competent on. Don't get me wrong. It was a risky pick. A, a one that I think 100 Thieves knew was going to be rough. But this is impressive. So Wardell is going to spot his opponent. He takes a hell of a lot of damage onto the cross. Now, he's the man with the spike. But he's got Hayes defending, holding, watching to try and cover them off. But Nitro wins that duel. Puts Ooh, them into a good low. position in this retake. And that shock dart was dart. almost enough, but Cutler's trying his best to deny them any further presence on towards Wardell. However, Ryan, this one's looking rough. Not made any movement. I think at this point it's going to be a save, but they could at least get the operator out of Wardell's hands. Now they're going to try and push a go for it, or just make sure that he can't get off this site, but he's still able to do damage on Tahiko. Cutler is like, not again. I don't want to deal with this turret, please. Look at this. He's just going for it. Wardell is forced to dash away to back off. And that's kind of been the story for 100 Thieves. Like these players that have done some insane clutches over the past couple of days. Not really finding those shots or that confidence to open up a site to make yeah. a play. I, I mean, it was that for a sooner, sure. I mean, he hurt me clearly. Ten but seconds so left. Rose is able Black to get to. Standing. He's getting free. He's Fight mowing planted. them down. It's just going to be Steel who's been waiting on A main this whole time. Not even really worth saving with the guns that he has. Kachi stops him from pushing into a safe position, but he still manages it anyway. Two health is Wardell. The spray able to do so much damage to him, but not enough to be lethal, unfortunately. The Eldron is going to scout a little bit. Find the steel is there, but they don't know that he's in the cyber cage. It's very messy, very scrappy. The door's going to be closed into the face. Nice, he's able to get one, and now the rolling fund is going to be used for the attacks of TSM drone, making some space. But Asuna and Dicey actually able to make some plays. The Empress is out from Asuna. This is more like it from this player, but he doesn't know where any of these attackers are. He's got to deal with Omen right in this no corner. Sub so Rosa has a nice little off angle. And now the Hunter's Fury from distance from Cutler is going to try and stall it out at least. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Dicey's got him. <laughs> On Team Liquid, so he definitely can wield the sniper. Can he get anything here? No, he can't. Drone with the opener, and now it falls onto one man. Steel to try and hold the line, and he gets nothing as well. A slaughter on the A site, and the end of the map. Ten looming. seconds left. It's left on a two versus five retake. Hiko alongside Asuna, the young and the old, the experienced and the rookie, and it's left on to just the rookie. 17 year old to try and clutch versus five players. I don't think it's happening this time, but maybe he round the smoke, but he does have a sooner to help. The Ultron hasn't spotted him, so he's got a great opportunity to get a couple of frags, and he does that. He can at least get two before some rose against him, but Dicey can peek off of it and get the trade. It's a two versus two. The guns don't really look that good for 100 Thieves as it's a ghost in the hands of Pico. Take flight. They're just going to wait for Steel and play for the retake at this point. Enemy mark. Problem is, he's got a hell of a lot of trips to get through, and they're gonna know that he's coming. Five, they know five, there's five, one on the flank, and one two players remaining. should have that info. Wardell, the fast peek out. Now it is left all on Tahiko. Again, rough clutch position to be in, especially only with a ghost. Needs an almost double dink just to give himself a chance, but any extra cost would be valid here. However, now stuck in the mud. No Both we'll players just waiting patiently and eventually tier. Because 100 Thieves have been holding really close. In fact, actually, Asuna is just going to push at this point. He's able to get a nice flash in onto Drone. And he's just been hit by so much. If he could get a frag hit, that'd still be big. But the pressure that TSM are putting him under, he can't even get that. Yeah, again, the openers 
gone firmly in TSM's favor. Now, Steel has been able to gain a little bit of map control, but the problem being, can't really push much further. Perhaps a set. Make sure that he can't, and Hayes still watching around all of these angles, making sure that his team is still safe if they are going to go pushing into the seaside. But for now, with the man advantage, all really TSM have to do is wait. I'm expecting 100 Thieves to make some sort of risky rotation, and well, for now, they're just being patient. I like the hold that Steel has, but... It's a lot of map control, but not very much intel on exactly what's going to happen. To the point that he goes forced left. to use a recon ball, and that's kind of a ghost on for TSM because they know dead. that they can't really get that uh, intel easily. He goes sitting in the smoke, but I'm more curious about at this point what Nitro is going to do. He's right in tunnel, looking Five towards C and backing off to try and keep together. Are they going to save? Are they just trying to push from the back of C? Seems more likely that they're just going to sit, try and get a frag onto the person that's on the back of his site. That would be Sub Rosa. They can molly him out, at least do a little Ooh. bit of damage, but not really enough as he's oh. able to just scoot out of it. He's even going to teleport away just to make sure that he doesn't lose this gun. It's a big dedication, but it shows that TSM really do respect the economy of this game and don't want to give it up. But the issue is, you have nobody on site now. We're just going to rely on Cutler to try and at least. Stop the defuse. He can't get a frag, but you would imagine at this point on the defuse can't get the defuse. Oh they, my they... goodness! Wow. He's just gonna oh, stick it all the way! It's so close, but all the kills end up cut to the side of TSM. 30 seconds left. They have been fantastic on the openers. Dicey holding the angle. This is a shot you wouldn't necessarily expect him to miss. Let's say the flashes are already dissipated. They don't have any more of those, so Dicey's given a chance to roam through. No blind this time and it's three kills for him on the site he's gonna be doing he's waiting for his teammates to get in now he forces them off the site and actually asuna has just gone running straight in they want this round they've committed a hell of a lot of ultimates to try and make sure they gain some space i like this though from cutler he's trying to destroy it from a distance nitro's gonna go sneaking through though and that's a double spray down it leaves it all not the start they were looking for but there's no more ultimates to bail 100 these out of these situations Gonna come down to the battles. See within the round. Cutler. Oh, he's been spotted out. Both players trying to aggress onto his position, but he's just denying the control. And in fact, the spike in the meantime is going back towards the seaside. Last time, they did have some struggles when it came to Dicey on that operator, but this time they've got a sneaky look around. So Broga looking to come back in from behind. He's found the first. Left. Gotta be careful though. Oh, the flash. Actually, he goes left blind as well, and they just ruin Cover every member out. of this C site. The remaining two players, Ryan, they've got no choice. Spike Surely planted. they've just got to try and hold on to some weaponry. The way that this omen is playing is going to catch at least Wardell pushing onto the site. But a position that Sub Rose is in might cap somebody off. He is going to be looking towards Nitro, pushes onto the site. Is it looking, but still whiffs the shot as 100 Thieves Nitro is able to come onto Wardell. It's a one versus three now. Sub Rosa has to clutch it. He's holding so close to this wall. Don't do it sooner here and die. And the spray is so awkward. And the defuse is going to come in for 100 Thieves. Much better from them if there's anybody else that's lurked. And he has the right idea. Is some space that Hayes has taken, but Steel has a keen eye on it. They don't want to give up too much map control. The turret's going to spot him at least if he does poke his head along A along. But I'm surprised that he got by Steel in this fashion. Just must be timing at this point. And Hiko in his own spawn trying to decide where he wants to hold because they have no idea where these four surviving members of TSM are. Steel with the operator does see a couple of heads. Misses the shot and has to disengage using the nano swarm. He's just going to try and face Hayes, but misses the shot again just because the peak is so. 30 quick. seconds left. Is I'm making some space here, Tom. Here. Found the double entry into the site as well, but was looking so good for the side of 100 Thieves has quickly fallen to just one man. Dicey, an operator, his blade storm popped. Fact is, it looks like he's still going to be giving this a go. He would need somebody to pretty much hand away a kill, and you can see that this is a regimented ESM. 
got to give some props to their coach, I guess. We spoke to him earlier, and it seems like he has been... With the spam coming in from heaven, there's nothing that the remaining right, members right, of the teams can do, at least for now. But... I just managed to catch out the Lurker. Now, this gives them a lot more space to actually go for the retake. They know there's no longer a man waiting behind them. And they can start expending little pieces of utility. Asuna looking to potentially try and set up the remaining members of his team. The peak comes up. Wardell wins the battle. The stationary offer is going to take that fight all day long. And they, again, are looking to hold on in this afterplant situation. Drone, another one, bites the dust as it's left onto Cover the remaining two. Out. Nitro, all he can do is try and save the extra op. It's a fantastic hold once more from TSM. And while 100 Thieves, this one's slipping away from them. The only kill of this, it's worked in TSM's favor. Nico can at least get a frag, gets a couple actually. It's up to six on this half at least, but Steel is wrapped around. There's a lot of information that it's not going to be A. And his last free... Well, Nitro's expecting the same sort of play with the alarm bot, yeah. so knows that Nitro's good. Uh, so is going to be pushing in. This one will be for free. I and it's it's spike. pretty cool to get it from that oh. angle, though. The information that has been gathered, the utilization Stop, of his own dot to get past all the sneaky traps that have been placed, and no as you sort of mentioned, run. used them against their opponent. Now, in the last map, we saw Wardell. In a similar situation, he managed to get four kills with the operator. Kind of a sneaky one. Once again, the first goes his way. See how he would use a stinger. I guess the main boy would be to play towards garage. Instead, though, it's actually going to be a very aggressive stance being made by TSM. They're going to go pushing through the sewers and be met by multiple hundred thieves players already. A double opener, and maybe we're just about to see a very attacker-sided map. You should map. run. Yeah. There you go. There is the lockdown. Realistically, Sabrosa, he's waiting to see if anybody will peek in and see if he can do some damage, maybe take a, a peek. Oh. And he will actually get a kill at the escape as well, just around the corner. Gives them much more of a chance in this region. Paranoia is going to come through. Spike planted. No Cypher alive even to use a camera, even if there was one, to try and catch somebody through the smoke, but... He's feeling himself. A shot like that onto Steel was pretty impressive. And even that headshot from distance. Subrosa is playing so good right now on this roll. But they need to watch the lurk. Nitro has actually made a lot of space. And whilst it hasn't got all of the frags in the world for TSM, there's only two alive. And even the peak's going to come through. Wardell pick off Hiko as he makes a long. Top dark. The 2v2, they're going to go for the defuse at this point because people have moved away. I mean, why not go for it? The smoke is going to come in. I don't think there's enough time for Wardell, but it's scared 100 thieves to their team. He's still going to go on the defuse. He's got it. He's got it. Get that. that means is, well, the reason you're seeing Wardell currently with the blade storm is that's basically all he's got. He's only got pistol remaining. Now, luckily, he is pretty clinical. I see him being a position where either he gets a load of kills or he instantly dies, so it's not going to be too much of a problem. On the other side, though, a bunch of thieves have opted to take the B site, something we haven't seen too much of. The reason being, this site is rough to hold on to, and with kills coming in like that from Sub Rosa, it might be about to get a little bit worse. He's actually going to TV pass. He's playing so well as the Omen so far in this game. Probably been my favorite thing about this match so far. And now it's left. Onto just two players remaining. Dicey, one, he needs to get one. It's no more ammo left for Sub Rosa, though. However, the spike again is already being diffused. And Dicey. They fought for that orb on C, and look how low Eco is. It's a player that needs to be forced, and is soon caught out by some nice aggression on the side of TSM. Steel is on A long, he has the spike. But there's very little to work of with the buy that they have available. Oh, we got there in the end, but information has been garnered, and TSM not far off taking this in a 2-0. Of course, this would at least eliminate 100 Thieves from what is the open bracket, but they've already made it through to the close. In the meantime, though, a bit of an awkward position for Drone. It's going to be dicey to open things up. The Nano Swarms over the top have done their job that's for sure but it still ends up in a 3v3 situation 
Hayes, though, is already going to turn the tide and bring things back into the favor. And now with the spike drop, 30 it's seconds left. position for Nitro. Trying to get past what is a pretty filthy crossfire. He has Hiko spamming in the shock darts to try and force Shadows one traveling. of the players to back off. I have the spike. Well, they are going to be able to retreat, retrieve that spike at least. And after plant one, like here it comes the paranoia. Wow. In fact, Ten they're just going to run straight through. They don't allow for any sort of plant, and they know where he. They're still a contender in NA. For sure, and Wardell gonna be playing short. He hasn't done this so far on the side. And yeah, again, this 1v1 with Dicey with the operators has mostly gone to Wardell at this point. It's an absolute masterclass so far, but as soon as he made a lot of space for himself, Wardell was expecting it though, yet again. And there's a stack on C prepared for a push. And these three surviving members of 100 Thieves are gonna be hitting A. They are gonna be running into Cutler. This is looking like the beginning of the end, unfortunately, for 100 Thieves. They've come up against one of the powerhouses of North America. And while they've had some close rounds, that's for sure. Fortunately, it was the defense that kind of let them down a little bit. Their offense has had its moments, but a few mistakes. The fuses in front of them have definitely gone amiss. And this man, Wardell, is looking to try and put them in the grave already. Spot one of the remaining members, and it's the same two players that are trying to get 